the end of the day, the Greens party is fundamentally a party of protest rather than a party of government. The Greens party is fundamentally a party that would prefer to complain about things than get solutions. She uh, rang and advised me she was about to make a uh, speech and outline this at the press club and I said sort of thanks righto and that was it. Now that's a way to break up. Is that, is, is, is that you, you ring the person that you're breaking up with and then you go on national television and break up with them. But fair dinkum, Joe. We all know the true test of this, said it last night, repeat it now. Unless they're going to pull the vote that holds them together, I know you've got a rant ready, but let me finish. Until they pull, the, until they pull that, uh, then I'm sorry, it ain't a breakup. Go. Listen, this is just beyond the pale. Firstly, the Greens are the party of protest. They're a party of idiots. I've been at parties that have lasted longer than the Greens, that have had more booze, and at the end of them, after everyone had been drinking for 40 years, they still made more sense than the Greens. The Greens are lunatics. They are idiots. They are imbeciles. They are undergraduates. For one thing, the, their, key, their key argument was that the, Liber that the government was too close to the, the big three miners, that, you know, that the deal it had cut with Beatrice Rio Tinto and, um, and, and the, the other one, you know, that this had somehow made... You know, that's right. And John Paul George. Uh, <laughs> Keep that, going, that, you're that, on that, the that somehow, like that somehow this, this, you know, that it didn't raise any revenue because it was too soft because, you know, they hadn't made it stringent enough. They hadn't made the mining tax stringent enough. They cut that deal before the Greens signed the agreement to go into coalition with them. They cut the deal and the Greens said, yes, that's fantastic. And then when they get pretty much everything else that they want, but it turns out that the tax is a complete turkey, which everyone knew it would be, except the Greens, the Greens go, oh, we don't like you because you signed up with this big deal. I mean, what did they think they were doing in there behind closed doors? Oh, did they think it was another 70s fondue party? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is just, this is yeah. rubbish. If the Greens were a person... They would be a psychopath. They would be... They would, that is an absolute <laughs> psychopathic tendency. Is you are not giving me everything I want, okay. therefore you are dead to me and I will destroy you. Correct. They are a party... There is, a, there is an idea that the Greens are, are just a benign kind of force. And yes, they are benign as long as, and only as long as, they are completely impotent. You give them the remotest amount of power, you give them the remotest amount of decision-making capability. I mean, the, the democracy, liberal democracy, is a china shop. It is a delicate system. And the Greens are this <laughs> giant, giant, steaming bull that are just running through it like mad little undergraduate children waving flags and preaching revolution. They should get up, get on the next boat to Cuba and leave the rest of us normal people alone. To, to, to me, Joe, not entirely the worst thing in the world, that if the Greens decided to pull their vote and that's how we got an election, that's really the only way that there's an upside for Labor, isn't there? In saying, look, it's the election we don't want, we don't want the timing of it, but it's because of the bloody Greens. Yeah, look, I think... I mean, this, this, is, this, is, the, this is the cruel thing. I mean, if you want to talk about, again, about psychopathic behaviour, mm. I mean, Julia Gillard, this government, say what you like about it, has done more for the Greens and more at the Greens' behest bloody than up. any single mm. other government in history. Agreed. Right? And that's... The, as a result of that, it's ostracised itself from a huge chunk of the mainstream population. It was forced into making a liar of itself mm. on the subject of a carbon tax. It was forced into a phony class war with big miners that didn't end up giving them any money anyway. But the sort of things and the sort of positioning this government has had to do as a result of the Greens just running around clearly not believing what they're getting away with and they don't believe in guns so they didn't have a gun to their head but maybe they had like bamboo shoots or something. <laughs> right? A guilty conscience and, and to their then, head. And then at the end of it, they just cut her loose yeah. and not just cut her loose but cut her loose with a giant... A bomb. They just absolutely napalm the government at its most vulnerable. They have absolutely guaranteed beyond any shadow of a doubt. Like you say that they, they're opposed to Tony Abbott. What a load of bollocks. Whether the election's this Saturday or in September, they have helped to guarantee over the course of the last three years guarantee beyond any shadow of a doubt mm. a Tony Abbott landslide. Yeah. And they have left Julia Gillard, who once could have been a great first female Prime Minister, they have left her looking like the retarded kid in the playground who no one wants to talk to and no one wants to play with. And that's the perception mm. that the rest of the community is going to see. They're going to say, oh my God, after all she's done yeah, for them, yeah. even the Greens don't like it. She burned all that capital. She did the thing that meant that everyone can say, see, that's the lie, yeah. that's the lie, that's the and lie. Now, and even her best friend has started yeah. picking on her in the playground. That's what it looks like, and it's horrible, mm. and I hate it, and I hate the Greens for it. Good boy.
All right, and, and the man's wearing a T-shirt on television, OK? So that is coming and from thongs. the hardcore left. <laughs> That's right. right. I'm, a, I'm an undercover hippie. <laughs> yeah. I could be at your next what? bong fest. Yeah. Joe, you know how, how the game works, is that, look, yes. there is a story there, um, but is the story that it's the same story it was yesterday? I mean, that's, that's the bit I don't understand, is, is that uh, it, it, there's this stasis in the coverage. There's a group of people yes. at the back of the bus that want a different driver. No, no question. That is absolutely right. I mean, but... the, idea, the idea that this is all media speculation in terms of a, a Rudd comeback is, is, is just ridiculous. It's absolutely real. It's absolutely true. I can swear it on a stack of Bibles. There is no question that Rudd is waiting in the wings. He's waiting to be tapped on the shoulder. He's waiting to be begged, basically, to return on a giant litter on the shoulders of the people who had uh, so nastily betrayed him so he can, you know, like whip them and urinate on them from great <laughs> Height, but do you think it will happen? Put, put, them, put, them on the, put them on the I, table. They're very I, low table. I think, there. well, the, the, the other option, of course, is the, the absurd option that, that, that Bill Shorten would come through as a, a breakthrough candidate and could get the Gillard support and it would spite Rudd and still be a change candidate. That is just so moronic. I'm not even going to go into it except to say that it is the most moronic thing I have ever, ever heard and, and defies the only reason of changing leader, which would be you would save seats because 61% of people actually want Rudd as the leader, right? So yeah. it, it is so incredibly moronic from any logical or reasonable standpoint. Correct. I can also reveal it is something being actively considered by some sections of the party. Like, like this yeah. is how yeah. crazy it is. The thing is the party has tied them in such a Gordian such knot. Desperation. There, is, there, is, there is no way they can undo the things that they've tied themselves up in. Yeah. There is no way they can break free except just to absolutely cut it. There is no way that they can get out of the corner. They can't fight their way out of the corner mm. that they've backed themselves into. There is no back door except the one that they're going to get pounded in. Yeah, cool. And um, I shouldn't have said that on television. And um, and, and, and the only right, thing they can... It's the a relaxed, thing, that's it's right. a relaxed hey, man. It's a, it, Look see at all these lounge chairs. See it's what's just happening. Down, it's just my living room. But, um, but the, the, only, the only thing they can possibly do, and it, this leaves aside completely all sense of right or wrong or whether the people should have the opportunity to judge the Prime Minister, mm. the only thing they can possibly do to save the party from complete and utter oblivion and, and, and probably looking at four terms of an Abbott-led coalition government... Uh, is restore Kevin Rudd. That is the only possible thing they can do to at least save some of the furniture. It will not get them over the line in all Correct. probability, but it may just get them enough seats so that they are in striking distance, not in one, but in two terms from now. And that is the earliest that Labor could ever possibly hope to be anything resembling electable again because this current mob, who are so immature, so inexperienced, so panicky and so jittery, that they're just running around, just bouncing off the walls, just mm. screaming with their heads spinning 360 degrees. They have done such a good job of screwing up mm. this party that I have an enormous amount of love and respect for, <laughs> for a generation. Yeah. The only thing they can do is desperately try and put in the man that they were so stupid to knife in the first but place. Why do you think he's such a sufficiently transformed man that he's, you know, that he's a It doesn't matter. He's going to be leader for leader. three minutes yeah. until mm. they get until they get creamed at the next election, but hopefully they'll save enough seats right. to be okay. contestable. We want golf and we want labour. Time to do yourself a favour. Fair go now is what Australians say. Let's go ahead the labour way. Malcolm's campaign, old school blazer, murder packer, Fairfax Fraser, some quadrilla, listen to them brave. Though people want the labour way